The third eye chakra is located right here between your eyebrows. And a lot of hypnotherapists that I work with, like they will, they will tell you to look right here. So it is a very common thing to know that your third eye chakra um, allows you to see things differently. And especially if you've been through a childhood or, you know, attract toxic relationships into your life or depressed or have anxiety, the chakra is really going to be important for you. All right. So the, the, way, the reason it's exciting is because the third eye chakra is really what we activate in order for you to connect to your psychic abilities, but also to connect to your intuition. So if you are someone that is constantly wanting to connect to their intuition and trust their intuition, the third eye chakra is really where you want to work with and especially also the crown chakra. But what I also love about the third eye chakra is that it allows you to see the truth. It allows you to see your truth. And remember last week we dealt with the throat chakra. So that was self-expression. So you can see how close these are related because this is our self-expression, but this is also like the truth of your higher self, of the universe, of who you really are, okay? Um, so here, let me just read you my notes here. So if, you're, if your third eye is chakra is balanced, this is when you're just connecting to your intuition. You're following your intuition. And when you do that, it allows you to feel in alignment. It allows you to feel peaceful and you detach from the outcome and you trust in the universe that it's going to bring you whatever you're looking for. So that's what's really cool about the third eye chakra is when it is in balance, in balance, right? Not in balance, but in balance, you, you just flow. You literally just flow. And if you've ever been in alignment before, like it just flows and like things will just come to you and you just live your life. And it's like, you have no worries. So that's when it's in balance. Now, when it's over or when it's under active, um, it's gonna, you could feel like a little bit unmotivated. You could feel depressed, fearful, jump to conclusions. So if you are in a relationship or have been in a relationship and you think like, you know, your mind is going crazy thinking they're doing this and thinking they're doing that when yes, possibly they could be. But if you're letting your mind rule you, if you're letting your human ego come up, and this is the other thing when it's underactive, like you'll have a lot of thoughts up there. And when I'm teaching my psychic ability course, it's like, I tell them like, if you're having a really hard time connecting, it's probably because you have to heal more because if you're having a lot of chatter up here, and, you know, like all the negative thoughts or the feel fearful thoughts, um, worrying about everybody else, running memories pet through your mind all of the time. This is going to keep you away from your psychic abilities. And this is when um, your psychic abilities are blocked. And that's when it's underactive. OK, so trust issues and psychic abilities blocked overactive daydreaming. This is when people are like way too spiritual. And all they're doing is wanting to be in that spiritual realm. Maybe they're meditating for like five hours a day. They're listening to, you know, um, meditations or, or energy healings, like all the time. So um, that's also going to be when it's overactive. Okay. They're not able to really tell what's real and fake. They, they get lost sometimes, maybe like hallucinations, uh, that kind of stuff as well. Uh, physically, like um, Catherine was saying, you're going to get he headaches, migraines. If you suffer from migraines, this is a third um, eye chakra thing because it affects your your pineal gland and your pituitary gland it affects your brain it affects your nose and it affects your um eyes right yeah so sinus pressure right here sinus pressure um so if you're sub subjected to all of these things it might be your third eye chakra that you need to work on you need to clear you need to unblock or slow it down or speed it up depending on what it is so tonight I'm going to ask you a few questions about your third eye chakra. So you can really be clear as to if you need to work on this one. And of course, we're gonna be doing the energy healing with it. So hopefully you have a pen and a paper. If not, go ahead and grab one. All right, and then the first question that I'm gonna ask you here to really, and the reason I'm doing this is to bring things up for you so that you can maybe see things in a different light and understand. Oh yeah, and the, the color is like purple or indigo. So this is why I'm wearing my purple shirt. So if you are having issues with your third eye chakra, you wanna like make sure you have purple things around you. You wanna eat purple, maybe eggplant, plums, um, you know, anything purple. 
uh, wear purple, just make sure you're putting a lot of purple into your um, body and or, or into your mind. Uh, and then again, your third eye chakra is right here as well. So like you can touch it, you can massage it, you can, you know, imagine white light energy going into it. There's so many different things you can do on your own to kind of try to open it up. All right. So the first question I'm going to ask you here is how much do you worry or suffer from anxiety? All right, so if you suffer from a lot of anxiety and you're worrying all the time, this is going to hinder your psychic abilities, your intuition, because when our intuition comes uh, like comes to us or when you're trying to connect your psychic abilities, these are like whispers and they don't come out and be like, hey, I'm here. No, they're like happy on the shoulder, right? But if you're over here worrying about everything and they go like this, you're not going to, you're not going to feel it. You're not going to hear it. You're not going to see it. However you get it, you're not going to, you're not going to notice it because you're too worried about anxiety and how people are going to think of of you or, you know, what people are going to say or what they did say to you and what did it mean? And, you know, running all this stuff through your mind. So the more that that is there, the less that you're going to be able to connect to yourself. All right, so that's number one. Number two is going to be what in your childhood made you anxious or felt unsafe? Now, we talked about the root chakra. That's safety as well. But again, when you feel unsafe, it kind of connects right up here to the third eye chakra because now you're worrying. Now you're anxious again. Now you're not really seeing the truth because what's happening is you're seeing your your environment around you from something that has happened in the past. So you're attaching to what's happening now to something that happened in the past. And you might make up stories about it. You might make up fearful things about it when there's really nothing to be fearful of. So if what in your childhood has really made you anxious or felt unsafe or made you worry a lot? Anxious is like anxious to me. Anxiety is just from fear. There's a lot of fear. So you get anxiety and you can feel that in different ways. Okay, so the next question here is, have you had any experiences that scared you um, from your childhood that when you were connected? So did you see a ghost? Did you see something scary? Um, Any, did you feel something weird, right? Anything that happened to you as a child? Because this is a lot of time what we do is we're always connected. And especially if we have parents that like shoot it down, if you go and you say, mom, I felt this or I saw this, like my, my, um, my son was like, mom, I saw a dark shadow in the room last night. And me, I'm like, oh, crap. Right. <laughs> but a lot of parents would be like, it's OK, don't worry about it. It was probably just a dream or when they know it. No, it didn't seem like a dream. Right. So they shoot it down. Um, so did you have any experiences like that as a child? Because what will happen is when you shoot it down like that, you create a boundary with the spirit world. And therefore, you're not able to connect as well with your psychic abilities until you open it back up. So did you have any experiences that scared you as a child? Spiritually, kind of like ghosts, um, feelings, premonitions, dreams. My psychic abilities used to all all be in my dreams. Like I knew the day my my grandfather was going to die. Um, from the image that I got before I woke up before the call from the hospital. Um, I knew there was a fire in my dad's girlfriend's apartment. I caught my mom smoking. Like all these things happened in my dreams before they happened. And now I've learned how to obviously get them not only in my dreams. All right. And then the next question is, do you feel like you have a lot to heal from your past. All right, so did you go through a lot of trauma? Maybe you're not in my From Pain and Power mentorship, but did you go through a lot of trauma that you still know that you need to heal from? Because again, that trauma, one thing to realize, right, is if some of your chakras are blocked, the the energy isn't gonna flow all the way up. So, and I believe the energy flows up. So 
when something is blocked, the energy doesn't go get to the other chakras. So if you have a lot to heal in your sacral chakra or in your root or in your solar plexus and your heart and your throat, you're not getting to the third eye. Maybe a little bit will creep up, but like it's not consistently flowing. So if you have a lot to heal, and this is what I just said about my psychic course, where I say, you know, you've got to heal from your past in order to really connect to your psychic abilities because you got to let go of the chatter. So your energy, though, is still might not be flowing. And Catherine says no to most of these questions, but I'm an over controlling person in my thoughts. OK. Um, so I would say if you're over controlling in your thoughts, you're more in your human mind rather than in your third eye. So letting go of control, which I just was talking about this in my confidence course, like letting go of control, detaching from outcome is like one of the hardest things that humans have to do. So if you can do that, that would be fantastic or try to practice doing that. So when you feel like you're in that control and you're like, you're trying to control how you're thinking, um, let go, like just let go, like let go of the need to feel like you need to control that. All right, so the last question I have here. Ah, this will be good for you, Catherine. <laughs> um, is it hard for you to quiet your mind? Is it hard for you to quiet your mind? Like when you go into a meditation, uh, we do this, we do this um, uh, exercise in the, in the psychic course where it's the 21 days to opening your psychic abilities. And we do, this we do this little thing about focusing on a color in your mind's eye in your third eye chakra. And like how long you can do that. So we literally focus on focusing because in order to connect to those psychic abilities, you really got to focus in. You got to you got to pay attention to things. So and a lot of people I know, like in energy healing, sometimes they'll be like, I totally wasn't even there. And I know for me, sometimes if I'm all up in my head, like I'm not even noticing the feelings of the energy Versus if I was just really in tune and focused on what was happening, I could, I actually feel the energy in some of my chakras when they're actually at that point. So do you have a hard time quieting your mind? With those answers to the question, so how many, let me know in the chat, how many of you feel like you need to open or shut down a little bit of your, of your third eye chakra? And to be honest, like the way that I feel, like they talk about underactive, overactive, and like to be honest, as an energy healer, from my opinion, my perspective, um, I'm just clearing it. Like, I'm just clearing the energy from it. So I don't really work with underactive. I just clear it. All right. So go ahead and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Go ahead and stretch out your back, your shoulders, all the way to your fingertips. And go ahead and let that out. And then take another deep breath in. I want you to just picture a little white light right between your eyebrows. It's a really small little white light. Go ahead and let that out. And take another deep breath in. And I want you to imagine that white light getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And I want you to imagine it shining out of your forehead, right in front of you, just shining out. And I want you to imagine, go ahead and breathe out and take another breath in. Sorry if I messed that up. And imagine this bright white light just shining out. And as it shines out, it gets bigger and bigger. Go ahead and let that breath out. It gets bigger and bigger. As it expands, you can feel it in your chest, a breath of relief. Go ahead and take one deep breath in and out and just let go. Let go of any control that you feel like you need right now. Let go of anything you're trying to force and just realize that the universe is with you. And all of this energy that is shining out of you is connecting to this universal energy of abundance and allowing you to see clearly for the first time and allowing you to see the truth of yourself and who you are and what you're here for. 
Take a deep breath in there and go ahead and let it out. And imagine now inside of this white light, there's this little purple dot. And in this dot, you can see, maybe not so clearly right now, so you squint a little bit. And then you look and you look and you look and it starts to expand for you. It's like a crystal ball all of a sudden, just right there for you. Take a deep breath in there and let it out. And as you're looking at this little circle, you start to see things inside. You start to ask yourself, what am I here for? What is my soul's purpose? What is my mission? What am I here to learn? And as you ask these questions, this little purple dot gets bigger and bigger. And the picture gets clearer and clearer. And your heart starts to open at this moment, allowing yourself to let go. Let go of anything in the past that has made you feel like you needed to stay safe. Take a deep breath in there and let it out. You're bringing me to the throat chakra here. This crystal ball, these images that you're seeing inside, and if you don't see an image, that's okay. Feel the energy, feel the truth. Let your humanness go. And as your throat opens up to connect to your third eye chakra, you start to feel like there's things that you need to say. Take a deep breath in and let it out. And if you feel like saying anything, go ahead and just say it. If it's nothing, that's okay too. Just feel into the energy of feeling like there's nowhere else you need to be right now. That you're now in this beautiful white light of energy. There's no one that needs you right now. Connecting to your truth, connecting to who you really are. What do you see? What do you feel? What do you have to say? And as you look closer, to this beautiful purple ball of energy here. I want you to imagine you step inside of it. You step into another world that you didn't know exists. You look around and you see beautiful trees with a stream right next to you. You feel completely safe here. Nothing to worry about, no one to care for you, no one that needs you at this moment. It is only you in this beautiful, beautiful place. Take a deep breath in and let it go. And as you look around, you feel the beauty radiating. You can feel it. You can feel it in your heart. You can feel it in your bones. That you are perfectly safe here. And being safe, it allows you to open your mind. It allows you to take a breath and relax. Take a deep breath in there. And let it out. And as you let that out, you realize that your heart feels weightless. It feels like you have no worries in this world, that you're connected to this divine energy. You can feel like you can trust it and connect to it. You can do this at any time. Just take a deep breath in, smell, the fragrance that's around you, 
beautiful trees, the sparkling brook. Now look around and see if there's anything or anyone around you. Anything that you notice, birds, animals, people, colors, energy. We're opening this purple crystal ball even further and further. We're seeing the truth, the truth of the universe, the truth of yourself, the truth of what you're here for, the truth of who you really, really are. Not all the things that you've been brought up to believe about yourself, but the truth, your soul's truth. What does that look like for you? What do you feel? What do you see? What do you hear? What do you know? Take a deep breath in and hold it for one, two, and three. And then go ahead and let that out. The heart, your throat, and your third eye is very connected at this moment. To bring through your truth, to open your heart, to the universe's love. Feel the energy flow. Imagine the energy flowing between the three chakras. And go ahead and take a deep breath in. And as you now look at this beautiful purple light, you realize you have all this beautiful white light around you, surrounding you, embracing you, welcoming you to your truth, to your intuition, to the part of you that knows the answers that you're seeking. And as you open your mind's eye more and more, you're able to connect to these answers. You're able to connect to the information that you're seeking to guide you to the places, to the things, to your goals that you want in this lifetime. Knowing that your intuition has all those answers and that it's connected to this beautiful universal light that is higher and more abundant than anything we could ever imagine. Now I want you to realize that you have access to this at all times. Go ahead and take a deep breath in and let it out. And know that you can tap into this intuition, into this beautiful white light, this purple beautiful light and ask and look in this crystal ball and see what comes up for you. You always have access to it, so there's no need to be scared that it will fade. Quiet your mind's eye and dive in anytime you need to. Go ahead and take a deep breath in and let it out. And at this moment, I want you to imagine the beautiful white light getting a little smaller and a little smaller as you start to walk away from this beautiful place. I want you to imagine going into your heart, and looking at what's around there, bringing yourself back to your human body realizing that your heart chakra holds the secrets and the love that you need to connect to your intuition at all times. That when you're seeking those answers, hold on to your heart chakra and open it up to connect to that intuition. Let the energy flow between the heart, the throat, and the third eye 
to really see the truth of what you're feeling. And as this white light gets smaller and smaller, we connect back to our human body. We start to feel what's in our fingers and our toes. We start to realize that this human body is so beautiful. And that is our truth. Go ahead and take a deep breath in here and let it out. And take another deep breath in and go ahead and let it out. And just repeat after me. I give myself permission to always relax and to connect to my intuition when I feel in need of guidance. And I trust that my intuition will give me the information that is for my highest good anytime I need it. Go ahead and take a deep breath in and let it out. And I'm just going to give you a minute here to ask any questions that you have and to sit there and wait for the answers, to wait for the feeling or a vision, something you hear or just to know for whatever question you have here that you're seeking. Go ahead and ask and just be patient. Go ahead and take a deep breath in and let it out. And another deep breath in and let it out. And as we come to a close, just know that you have the ability to tap into this guidance whenever you want. And one more deep breath in. Start to wiggle your fingers and your toes, bring awareness back to the body completely, and then go ahead and let it out. All right, one more deep breath in, and let it out. And then you can open your eyes when you are ready. not expect that. <laughs> I thought we were going to do regular Reiki. Um, I hope that was helpful. I feel like it was divinely guided. Um, so I hope that was helpful for you to see things that maybe you haven't seen before. Um, see your truth that you haven't seen before. Catherine says, I love the spoken. Good. Um, yeah. You know, the funny thing that I, I see now is like, even when you're connected to your intuition, we don't take the time to tap into it before making decisions. So, you know, always allow yourself that time and space to kind of do something like this. It doesn't have to be so in depth, obviously, but like, even with myself, like I'll realize that like, I'm like, my friend asked me to come over and I'm like, okay. Right. But I actually don't take the time to tap into the intuition to see if it's a good thing. Um, so anytime you need to make a decision, like allow yourself that time and space to ask your intuition these questions. Um, every morning, and this is important, but like every morning um, I tap into my spirit guides, I either do a spirit guide meditation or just sit quietly and ask um, for guidance and see what comes. So like tapping into this is something that you want to do on a daily basis to really, because 
I feel like in, in the psychic ability course, I, I teach that this is a this is a muscle that we have to build, right? We have to get stronger. And the stronger that your muscle is, the easier it is for you to tap into it. And I do feel like, you know, every, all the clairs that we use in the psychic abilities, which is in the in the Reiki vault as well, um, that, that's how you get your intuition as well. So knowing those clairs, so you can go learn about them in the in the Reiki vault. But knowing those clairs allows you to tap into that intuition. Um, a lot stronger. And as you build them, it gets stronger and stronger. So it's easier to tap into your intuition and be able to trust it because, um, you know, once you start following it and you start to realize what it is and how you get it and everything like that. So you want to do that every single day so that you can build the muscle and then you want to tap into it and ask for guidance, like every time that you have a decision to make. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you didn't mind. Uh, we didn't do that, but divinely guided. So therefore I went with it. <laughs> so much love to all of you. And obviously I did energy healing throughout that. It wasn't just a meditation. I did energy healing for you, especially it felt a lot in the heart chakra that we needed to release in order for that third eye to open. All right. So um, I hope you guys have a wonderful night.